their heads because uh, this is going to be a hard game for them. Yeah, but also for Bamberg. Yes, I mean, too. Rick Absolutely. Rick against Walde is one of the teams that won it again. So, so could we please have the uh, view the to the They don't want to see us anymore. They want to see the game. It's Hello. Not that Bamberg. <laughs> so uh, could you please switch the camera? We don't have a view in... Uh, Okay. Sorry, guys. We have been here since seven o'clock or eight o'clock in the morning, and this is twelve hours again uh, right now. And I think we are losing our minds slowly. <laughs> so uh, please be patient with us. Um, uh, okay. Here we are. So let's see. Riksu, the Finnish team, is on position of ball and is approaching. And it's not Vienna, it is uh, Bamberg actually, it should be Bamberg, it's wrong, the... Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Thorsten is here. It's wrong. Good. You can hear me? Huh? Yep, no. So this is wrong in the, in the description here, it's not Vienna, it's playing Bamberg against the Finnish team. I cannot pronounce. <laughs> Riksu. Riksu? Oh, yeah, Riksu. They told us to oh, say Riksu. thank you. <laughs> That's very nice. So it's Riksu in blue against Bamberg in white. And it's uh, the semi-final. One, one of the semifinals. Semi we have two semifinals. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course. This is the, the, the first semifinal. So we see here um, Bamberg and, uh, and Rixo. And the other semifinal we, we see later uh, Orkar against Flipper from Denmark. So let's see here what's, what's going on. And you can see uh, Bamberg with their typical, very um, strength orientated and powerful orientated. Play, they're keeping the ball close to the to the body. Uh, Rixu is here quite concentrated in their defense, known as a fast break, getting the ball, swimming through. Bamberg leads with a full bench. You remember the first game when they are oh, a good opportunity with three. Oh, and you see other side. We can see here. Yeah, I think it was Gis and Todd who saved the ball in the last second. The last move was it the first good opportunity here for Rixu and it's on the other side. It's on the other side this is Hannes Treiber. Yeah, but he was clinched by the attacker from Rixu. I think the better opportunity so far was from Rixu. There was an answer from Bamberg, but it was stopped early. But it looks like an open game, so there are two very winning willing teams here in the water we can see a bit ball position in favor for Bomberg at the moment but it seems like that Rixu and their fast break is very very dangerous maybe it's one of the strategies to concentrate in defense and then to come with a fast break and trying to score against the Bomberg team Bomberg very hard in four checking so they're putting a lot of effort in in getting the ball and then defending here, we can see Niklas Tarer attacked by one Rixu player. I want to excuse myself by the, by the Finnish uh, spectators that I'm more familiar or quite familiar with the German players, so yeah. I cannot give you the, the name from the, <laughs> from the Finnish players so far. <laughs> 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 and maybe we can uh, talk a little bit in German uh, for the German spectators. Oh, right, yeah, natürlich auch. Sehr gerne. Grandparent that are watching the yeah, uh, natürlich grandchildren. Yeah, of course, very much. Also, auch für die, für die deutschsprachigen Zuschauer, es geht hier. <laughs> es geht hier um die. Um den Einzug ins Finale, das dann morgen das letzte Spiel des Turniers äh, yep. bestreiten wird. Und hier geht es einfach darum, wir haben vier Mannschaften, die sich darum bewerben. Hier haben wir das erste Halbfinale mit dem finnischen Vertreter Rixo gegen den deutschen Rekordmeister, elfmaligen Rekordmeister aus Bamberg. Der Gewinner dieses Spiels wird in das Finale einziehen. Und im Anschluss sehen wir dann die kolumbianische Mannschaft Orca äh, gegen den äh, dänischen Meister Flipper. Jetzt haben wir einen Freiwurf für die Finnen gegen Bamberg. Das bedeutet, der Spieler darf jetzt den Ball quasi an die Wasseroberfläche nehmen und ausführen. Es darf einen freien Pass spielen zu einem Mitspieler. Ähm, er wurde quasi im Vorfeld gefault. Die Schiedsrichter ahnten das dann mit einem Vorteil für die finnische Mannschaft. Wir sehen, wie ein Spieler sich hinten direkt anbietet als Backup. Hier war ein guter Vorchecking-Aktion direkt von Felix Weicher müsste es gewesen sein. 
Hier sehen wir, ah ne, das ist Bela. Bela hier gerade am, am Angreifen versucht, den Ball zu gewinnen. An die Weißenberger hier mit dem gelben Schnorchel. Ach, die Raumdeckung. Ja. Und die Bamberger machen das ziemlich gut. Ja, Sie sehen hier, sie kommen auch schnell an den Ball ran. Der Gegner ist noch ganz weit vom Tor entfernt, quasi noch fast in der Mitte des Spielfelds. Ähm, ja. Wieder eine Schiedsrichterermahnung hier nun gegen die gegen das blaue Team. Freiburg für Bamberg ausgeführt. So we do a German English combination now. Thorsten is uh, commentating in uh, German and I try to do it in uh, English. <laughs> so uh, both teams are testing each other and uh, the now we have an attack from uh, Bamberg on the Rixu basket and uh, they try to, to swim around the basket but the Rixu intercepted the pass and uh, put it on the surface and now we see a cluster on the surface and the no they don't push each other in the uh, offline was man immer wieder gut sehen kann ist dass die Bamberger doch schon das Spiel immer an den Boden ziehen wollen auch immer eine Anspielstation an der offenen Seite suchen um den Torabschluss zu finden nun ist der Ball im Aus, der Ball ist out. And it's not uh, sure who uh, uh, was the last uh, keeper of the ball, so I think it's going to be a, whoa, it's a free throw against uh, Bamberg for Rixu. And these these teams, uh, Rixu, I think it's, haven't, have they played already against Bamberg? I don't remember in the last Champions Cups. The last Champions Cup, no. No, not in the last one, yeah. but but do they do? Does Rixu know Bamberg? Uh, I, re I remember there was a time when Bamberg went to the Rixu Cup. What is a tournament at the beginning? Ah, uh, true. Of yeah, know the name. Yeah, yeah. 2011 and 12, so the beginning this during these years. But this is six years ago. Here we see Andy Weisenberger in gelben Schnorchel, mit dem Versuch mit Pass hier zu Felix Weicher müsste das sein. Sehen hier Lukas Tada mit der 4 vorne sich anbieten. Den Ball besitzt nun. Ah, den Ball verloren. It's a very well how Rixu is defending here, even though Bamberg is putting more pressure on the Rixu basket in this last half of the first half of this game of uh, Bamberg from Germany against uh, Rixu from Finland. And uh, Rixu does a good job defending, but they don't succeed in breaking free of the pressure from Bamberg. Und hier sehen wir wieder Lukas Tana, wie er immer wieder versucht, sich anzubieten, seine Mannschaftskameraden ihn suchen, anspielen wollen. Zweimal hat es nicht ganz geklappt. Wir, wir haben ja noch Zeit in diesem Spiel, wir werden diese Aktion mit Sicherheit noch öfter sehen. The game is really fast when they get uh, uh, free of the basket area and they swim. Uh, we have a lot of physical contact, but when the ball is free, it's moved really fast between the players and they try to swim as fast away from the uh, dangerous zone with the, with the players for checking as fast as they can. We have two Rixo players now already in the half of Bamberg, but that's not enough against a team uh, like Bamberg. They have uh, 20 arms and uh, 700 fingers. <laughs> so Rixo really tries to reach uh, the corner now, I think, to be in the safe spot at least and uh, start from there. No, one Rixo player is already going from the close side into the basket of Bamberg, but uh, is tackled away. And now we have two Rixo players on both sides of the Bamberger basket. And it's with a this very difficult situation. You know, it's very hard to defend this because you don't know where the ball is going. We see here Niklas Tada in Ballbesitz with the pass to... Ah, this must be Nussi gewesen sein. Very good. Well done by Rixu. They uh, lost the ball, recovered it in a, a forward-checking action right in front of the Bamberg basket. And now it's uh, Rixu who put pressure on the Bamberg basket. And they, they, but they cannot break through. They are not really close in the distance. Now they have a chance. There's one uh, player from Rixu waiting uh, at the open side, at the wall, on the basket but uh, the ball carrier is pushed up to the surface and the ball kicked away. We see here one of the great strengths of the Weissenberger here in Forge. That is what the Bamberger does, that when man in the ball, he doesn't give it to him anymore. Here we see Andy Weissenberger in the fight with three Finns 
und trotzdem behält er den Ball und kann ihn sicher hier zu Bela Xerni abspielen. Äh, der spielt hier weiter an, wahrscheinlich Gisa Todd müsste das sein. Und der Ball geht hier weiter. Und es ist halt. So, this is the end of the first half and it's a zero, zero. And Thorsten tries to destroy our monkey box where we do the commentating. Thank you for, uh, to him for uh, doing the comments here in the first half. Change of uh, the sides. Um, I think uh, Bamberg looked to be a little bit more uh, in control. We're on video. No, it's me that has to be ready. <laughs> uh, Bamberg seemed to be a little bit more aggressive on the basket of uh, Rixu, but in the end, Rixu succeeded in uh, pushing into the basket of uh, Bamberg. What are you doing? Listen to you. Take advantage of that. I don't normally do that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So, um, I cannot answer to that, really. They're watching us. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm curious, what do you think, Lorena, uh, how this uh, game will end? Well, everything is open, really. I mean, I've been... Uh, it, it, it would be, from, from the German perspective, uh, right now uh, into this game, it would be a surprise if Rixu would win. But the way they played into this game, it's not impossible. I think in the end, uh, Bamberg is the stronger uh, team, probably. But what I saw uh, in the playing with Rixu really surprised me and was a total positive surprise because their game is up to what Bamberg does. No, I, c I don't really think that Bamberg is uh, the stronger team. I think Rixu is as strong. Uh, we just didn't, I didn't expect it to be. And uh, I really think uh, Bamberg is a great team and they're up to the task maybe to defeat the finish. But th the same happened from the finish. So they really need to be focus and then on the game because the first small little things will end up in a yeah, goal. I, I, think I'll, I think too uh, the, a little mistake will decide uh, this game and it could be on both sides. Um, Rixu is probably the, the younger game <coughs> into this, uh, into this uh, competition uh, here between uh, Bamberg and Rixu and maybe this uh, shows on the long run after 10 minutes, uh, but uh, that's not sure because the experience Bamberg brings in the water, I think it's not matched by Rixu here. I think the, the, the Finnish team is very, very young. The Finnish team is uh, very fast and of course they're playing a bit more risky and a bit more funny, not, not in terms of they're not so strict, not so... Uh, um, what do you say? To star organized. The Bamberg are very structured. Because of um, the experience and what they I know yeah. of each other, they play together for more than 20 years, yeah, some of them. But it's also when you have a, like, a, like, a, like a younger crew playing against the older crew, you yeah. know, they're a bit yeah. more freaky to finish. It, yeah. it seems like um, and, and Bamberg, they have a plan and they're just still following the plan, like a like typical German uh, method. You know? And they, they rely on their experience yeah. and what they know what they can do. So Gisa tot im Ballbesitz mit der Balleroberung. Jetzt kann man leider nicht sehen, welche Spieler. The Finnish team is here defending quite hard. So uh, we see Bamberg uh, raising uh, the attack on uh, the Rixu basket and waiting for a chance to go in. Checking out uh, here. Uh, uh, but but Rixu is really f for checking really hard, and they even uh, succeed in uh, conquering the ball from uh, uh, Bamberg. And th it's a tough play, you know. See, it's not easy for Bamberg to uh, get uh, hold on the ball. And uh, talk we're talking about Bamberg here. They yeah. uh, they really have matching in their hands how to get yeah. to the ball. And this you see a Finnish player just ripping away the ball from a Bamberg player. That's that's hard to do and very well done. We need to remember that this is a semi-final and of course yes. every team here has already won games and we need to remember that Rixo beat it more 1-0 in the first match of the tournament. What was a surprise, but as we see them here, how strong they are, it is a log logical uh, result that they, that they bet Molde uh, at this point. So this is a good team. We have 
two really good yes. teams here playing in the water. It's probably some of the best teams in the world we yeah. see right now. And uh, this is really not uh, <laughs> criticizing or talking about the mistakes. It's, it's such a high level in on the water rugby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, we will be get uh, beaten on the street for this. Really. <laughs> and really think about it. That this failure are made here are based on the pressure and the power the teams bring here in. It's not that the players don't know how to play, but you need to fight and to, to, to work Look a lot. Look at the passes, how, they, how yeah. they pass from one another. It's spotless, it's just... On oh, here's the best chance of number 12 from Riksu. Trying to push from the, uh, open, from the open side on the head of the goalkeeper. Osiari, yeah. But it didn't succeed. And, uh, but it looks like uh, the ball is dropping down to the defender from Bamberg, but he cannot swim free. And uh, Lucas Tutter, the from, the from the goal from the uh, referee yeah. attack to the head, and it's a three free throw against Riksu. We have seven minutes 17 left in this second half. Interesting, and it's getting more and more exciting. Uh, the more time is passing. We need to know, we need to understand that, of course, the first opportunity um, or the first team here that will score will probably win the game. Yeah. So yeah. This is That's a so close match. That's probably for sure here. And uh, they don't uh, show weakness. Both teams, I haven't seen big weakness. We have seen little chances from both teams to score, but not because of weaknesses from, uh, from the players, but just because of uh, uh. Uh, situations they fought for. Here see we Sebastian Lange wird here ermahnt wegen Angriff auf die Maske beim Kampf um den Ball. Ist Freiwurf gegen Bamberg nun. Uh, hier Lukas Tad an der Wasseroberfläche, der sich positioniert in der Hoffnung, den Ball direkt abzufangen. It's a free throw for uh, Finland. And Finland is, uh, is executing it quite fast and trying to get really fast on the Bamberg basket. But they are stopped by the forechecking of Bamberg and the defense is already in place. It's not easy to swim past these Bamberg players. And uh, even though uh, uh, Riksu is trying relentlessly, um, it's difficult to succeed here. Yeah. Both teams are doing a, a well job here. Incredible. Yeah. It's a very high level game. Both teams already with had opportunities to score. I think the the real, real big chance we're still waiting for that. Um but yeah, it, it could be happen soon. We're still five minutes and forty seconds left. And you see here again the pressure Bamberg is putting in their four checking. Rixo here now, number 15. It's waiting for the balls. Almost the same situation while Bamberg trying on the other side. Making, placing a player here. Hannes Hoffmann ins Aus. Hannes Hoffmann schwimmt ins Aus. Freiwurf gegen uh, die Bamberger. Und ein gegnerischer Deckel klaut den Bamberger. Tor wird auch abgewechselt. Und. Time out for White. Bamberg reagiert mit der Auszeit. Es war eine gefährliche Situation. Uh, ein, a Finnish goalkeeper was lying on the uh, German basket and they were starting to, to exchange directly. So it's not possible for the German team to get the goal back, the goal position back. Uh, Bamberg uh, reacted immediately with a timeout. I don't know if this is the, the clear reaction of this situation or if they have really planned to take the timeout. But it may be a reason that it went too quick. Nun sehen wir hier Bamberg in der rechten Ecke in Weiß im Gespräch. Lukas Tada vermutlich in der Wortführung. Uh, and, it, and, that, and that's interesting what Thorsten just said. Uh, Bamberg is uh, talking and the Rixu players are just waiting. They don't discuss anything. They're uh, uh, in the water concentrating. And then yeah, it's funny it's because the different uh, way to deal with what we see. Wow, these are the, the plates uh, for very this nice. Champions Cup. Very nice. It's very cool. The handmade, I heard about yeah, it. It's, it's, a unique. Uh, it's a friend of uh, uh, Vinnes doing a uh, painting and it's really high quality. And they're unique. Each of one is unique. So five minutes. Uh, and we're already back in the game here. All right. Five minutes left, and uh, everything can happen now. But the the more time drops down, the more the the next goal it will definitely be the decision uh, of this game. Rixo with a very good attack here. Again, two players on the on the ground, waiting for it. 
but uh, yeah, again, uh, Bamberg with a very nice forechecking. They're getting the ball quick, but not leaving their their goal position too early. This is also a quite challenge. You try to get the ball, and you need to invest, of course. You see here wieder Andy Weisenberger in the Balleroberung and Klammerung. Holt sich den Ball hier auch wieder gegen zwei Finnen. Kann sich durchsetzen. Bamberg wieder in Ballbesitz. Man sieht es an der Positionierung der Spieler, die sich vom Korb lösen. Anbieten Niklas Tada hier mit dem Pass an so Hannes Hoffmann. Aber der kam nicht an. Hannes Hoffmann taucht auf. Wir sehen hier Lukas Tada wieder vermutlich. Und die beste Show. Ah. That, that was a, that, that that was a really difficult situation for yeah. Rixu and they managed it quite uh, good with a little bit of luck well they yeah. pushed the ball away and there was no Bamberg player near to catch it and uh, go on with the attack but uh, the Bamberg really tries everything they have to throw everything they have in the water to stop uh, Rixu from swimming through the pool they want to stay at the Rixu basket and uh, prolong their uh, attack but Rixu managed and that tells you something about the strength of the Rixu player and the speed and the way they play together they managed to play swim through the basket and be in the corner of the Bamberg basket even though Bamberg recover the ball and is trying now to push through the Rixu of four checking yeah. that's it's good the, ten the tension is rising you see it the, the really? teams know that the time is ticking yeah. and none of them want to go into penalties I think they want so to have a decision have now a clear decision and winning the game by goal because the penalty shooting even if you feel that you're the better there's so many factors yeah. you can you can it's even a little bit of luck uh, on this luck. level sometimes yeah. it's luck it's Alvarez so Felix war es ja hier mit dem Pass der abgefangen wurde vom Rixu Spieler Lukas Tada hier wieder in Ballbesitz Sebastian Lange hilft ihm so this time uh, Rixu didn't succeed in pushing away the ball and swimming away from it. It's still in the possession of uh, the Bamberg players. And they uh, try to destroy and go into the, the defense of Rixu and cause mayhem. But Rixu is really, it's amazing what they do. They have yeah. a different style than Bamberg, but nevertheless, they are super effective yeah. in keeping the ball away from Bamberg and, and uh, keeping in possession of the ball against a team like Bamberg. And it's really amazing. This is an Andi Weißenberger. Uh Andi Weißenberger gegen drei, vier Finnen direkt. Kann, den Ball, kann er den Ball abspielen? Unten bietet sich ein Bamberger Spieler an. Hier nun. It's both Michael teams don't make any mistakes in the defense. Rixu is really uh, and any mistake would be a goal in this in this. Uh, a point of the game because both teams are just waiting for this little little spot they see in the defense and in the in the in the uh, goalkeeper keeping them so uh, one minute, minute 30 eine minute 30 noch zu spielen bamberg jetzt ein bisschen mehr am druck greift aber auch jetzt wieder häufiger von oben und alleine an es fehlen so ein bisschen die teamangriffe in dieser phase des spiels ähm, hier felix weicher mit der Balleroberung nach einem Fehlpass. Ein schlechten Pass eines finnischen Spielers. Bamberg, hat, ja, Bamberg hier in Ball Position. Das ist Nussi with the Attack Initiative. But wir sehen immer wieder, wenn Bamberg angreift, die Finnen liegen bereit. Es liegen vier Finnen unter Wasser. Less than a minute left. Less than a minute. 50 seconds to the penalty shooting, maybe. If Rixu, if Rixu does not succeed to break free on the out of the attack of Bamberg, they will try to stall and uh, keep the ball as uh, safe as possible, even if they have tackled Bamberg and they're counting down the time because this situation right here is more dangerous than a penalty shooting for Rixu. Calls from the referees. Blue three throw. Holding Fra in the blue three throw and we have blue. and a timeout blue. We have 20. Twenty seconds left. Twenty seconds. Also and a timeout for Rixu. Es gab einen Freiwurf für die Finnen, die noch 20 Sekunden auf der Uhr stehend äh, eine Zeit eine Auszeit genommen haben. Das bedeutet, dass wir die letzte Chance sein, die letzte Chance von Finnland nun hier zu scoren. Vielleicht werden sie alles nach vorne schmeißen. Das kann noch mal eine sehr spannende und gefährliche Situation werden. Vielleicht sehen wir ja auch einen Spielzug, einen einstudierten Spielzug. Mannschaften legen sich gerade für eine derartige Situation sowas yeah. hin. Yeah. A last last exit uh, play so uh, in Finnish uh, they would say probably holy moly cannelloni <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I never heard it. 
<laughs> my finish is not so good. <laughs> well, uh, mine is spotless. <laughs> yeah. But it, now we can see, just for the, for the English-speaking spectators, that, that Finland has taken a timeout. There's 20 seconds left on the clock. Okay, and they have the, the big away. chance now, maybe, to make a, a trick or to make a move. Maybe there's something in the trick box they can use. Okay, 22 score. seconds. That's the only chance uh, for one of the teams, and uh, because Ritsu has the free throw to uh, to score, but it's against a team like Bamri, it's almost impossible in 20 seconds. That's the only chance. It's one attack. 15 seconds, 14, and I'm. I'm oh, quite there's not so bad. Not so bad. That's this is a good move. You see here. 10 seconds. Oh shit! Eight. Oh shit! We have a Rixu player taking the, the basket, basket. but there is a move. there is a cluster up to the surface, and the time is over. Penalty shooting. But we see here that this move from Finland was very good. Yes, that was. We uh, brought up an opportunity to score here. Was very very good. So don't underestimate. So Torsten, what's your guess? White penalty captain. shooting. I what? guess that the Bamberg White captain. playing here, 11 years, yeah. having so many. Yeah. Penalty experience, having a player like Sebastian Lange who saved the last three penalties here on the Champions Cup last year, two times against Copenhagen, one time against, uh, it was uh, uh, Turkey. Yeah. Um, so they have a really Luka. good, on the other hand, they have Lukas Stade, a very experienced but successful scorer. But we don't know nothing about the, the skills yeah. of Rixu. Maybe that's just what they do yeah, for hours and hours. That's it. That's something One we're, we're really surprising now. Even we, can't, we don't know as, as commentators about the skills. We just have seen a lot of their players yeah. on the European Championship in Helsinki. Unfortunately, there was no penalty shooting. My so guess is on Bamberg too, so they are more experienced. So the first uh, attack will be uh, for Blue Rixu, and the first defense will be for Bamberg. Let's see how it goes. It's uh, uh, all or nothing. They have to put it in the basket. This is high level on the water rugby. We saw, we only see... Uh, für alle, für alle deutschsprachigen Zuschauer nochmal, es geht hier eins gegen eins. Wenn, der, wenn eine Mannschaft trifft und die andere Mannschaft Here we go. dann nicht the verwandelt... Oh, oh, that was Sebastian Lange <laughs> hier ist holdet. The, oh, the, this, the is, this is not okay. This is not okay. It. But this is not okay. He was, he was attacked without the ball. The ball was not there and he grabbed even his mask. Yes. This was not okay. Sorry, no, no, Sorry no. to say that. But if you as a referee let so many so many attacks going, both teams didn't have the ball, he grabbed the mask and they touched each other. This should but be but it really disgusting. But it was a, a really funny situation when the Rixu player tried to throw the ball over the head of yeah. the goalkeeper into the basket and the ball was, was pushed in with so much force so it he jumped into the air. The Finnish player didn't have the ball anymore and was still holding the German goalkeeper. This is not correct. This was an offense foul. Now we can see here Lucas Tata. If Lucas is not scoring, Rixu is going to the final. So this is a 1-1 KO round. The first team here. There's a lot of excitement right now. So Lucas Tata needs to score, needs to put it in. Otherwise, Finland is in the final. So we can see here Lucas. Yeah, that's that. Whoa! Oh. Very well done by the Rixu player. Now he's, he's, in in he's going into the ball. 27 seconds left. Whoa, he's going oh. away! Oh. No way! Wow, Rixu that was amazing. The game. Uh, without Rixu due respect, playing the final. Without due respect uh, to to Bamberg, yeah. that was a great move by Rixu. It was yeah. was incredible what the goalkeeper did against a player like Lucas Tada. Bamberg lost the penalty shooting. Rixu, Rixu is winning here. Then there will be a lot of discussion about the penalty of Rixu. In my opinion, this was not correct. Warning. This is not Don't acceptable. Wow. Warning. The game is over. Rixu in the final. Bumber